I have love and deep appreciation for Eric and Martin and everything that they and the many people who worked with them over the years put into making GR what Giant Robot what it was and is today um, and hopefully will be. This is why. Giant Robot is complicated and imperfect but in a way that's like oh you know tell me more. I want to know more. Kind of like people are at their best um, and at their worst sometimes. But also accessible, like people can be, on a good day. And these are things that I think are rare for a magazine and for, you know, anything nonprofit or for profit, whatever, anything that manages to survive under capitalism today. It's just rare traits. Um, the magazine, especially, I, I think, in the early years, was a surprise package of information and delightful and informative and non uh, preachy way. It wasn't written like, oh, we're going to teach you some shit, but it always did. Uh, even if I didn't understand all of it, some of it went over my head culturally, I think because it was some, you know, stuff that I was not exposed to. I was like, what is this? I don't know, but it's interesting. Uh, some of the things I learned about from Giant Robot magazine were, in the early years, were prison cooking from incarcerated brothers in California and what life was like for them, uh, and probably to some degree still is for some of them. Possibly, hopefully not, hopefully not, but possibly. Peach Donuts, Yuri Kochiyama, I think, right? Radical leftist Asian American. Uh, just like a, a really wide range of things, uh, issues, topics that covered who Asian Americans and Asians were, are, and it made me feel glad to be a part of that huge, diverse group uh, and made me want to learn more about, you know, who I, who I am, how I fit into all of that, how I fit into the world, what they are. Um, and I think more modernly today, or currently, modernly, oh, I'm such an old lady, uh, the commitment that Giant Robot has to art and creative shit made by Asians and Asian Americans, and the way that Giant Robot shares it in a like totally non-dogmatic way, like sectarian way, I think is also really special. Um, and I, you know, I'm not going to break any stereotypes here. The store has some really cute shit that I love, and it's where I got my favorite, like, traveling companion plushie that's a great lumbar pillow and neck pillow and subject for landscape photos for my travels. So, you know, thank you for everything so far, but tell me more. I want to know more. What's coming? Looking forward to it. Let the good times roll.